under my bust, this 38. 38. Hmm? Yeah. Under my bust with 38. My bust width is 48. Okay? Now, my bust ratio. My bust ratio is bust width minus under bust. What I have left is my bust is my is my bust ratio. What this means is that out of this 48, mm. only 38 is my waist. The remaining is for my breast. Which is 10. My bust ratio is 10, right? Mm. For you, what's your bust width? 35. Your bust width? Mm. What's your other bust? 30. Your bust ratio is what? 5. That's your cup. Now, a person like me can have uh, this underbust, or maybe somebody that's much slimmer, that has a lesser breast than me, can have this same underbust and have a lesser uh, and have a lesser bust width. Mm -hmm. Let's take for instance, underbust, the same underbust 38, mm -hmm. but their bust width is 42. They have a smaller bust ratio, which is um um. um they take minus 42, seven. Okay. Now there is another person hmm, who has there's another person who has under bust under um under bust weight under bust waist of 40. Hmm? Under bust under bust weight. It's four. It's four. Who have under bust weight? Forty. And the round their bust is what? 45. Such a person have bust ratio of what? 45. You see now, typically, someone with under bust 40 is bigger than under bust 38. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the bust width is 45. And their bust ratio is what? 5. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, that person with waist 38 and bust 40 has a bust ratio of what? Mm -hmm. 10. This person is bigger, but mm -hmm. has a smaller bust mm -hmm. ratio. To this person, so now if I now if you want to tell me the cup size to use for this person, shockingly, this person of size 30, which is chiso, eh, we use the same cup as this person. Is it not interesting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We use the same cup size as this person. So now. Cup sizing, based on numbering in the market, depends on the brand. The people making it, they write their numbers just to differentiate. So you know that this one is bigger than this one, is bigger than this one. Now, as a dressmaker, it is up to you to know that okay, this is the cup size that works for so so and so person. This is so 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 and so, or maybe you have tried it for yourself. So using your own gross difference now, you can use to tell what cup, what cup you are going to use for that person in that brand of cup. This cup now is a different brand. This is, this, this is one brand of cup. This is another brand. Their sizes are different. This one will write XL, large, small, medium, XSL. This one will write 32, 42, 48, like that. Mm. So, and that so many brands, and everybody puts their sizes based on their own charts that they use. But what is important is you know that just for you to be able to break it to know, okay. This is big, this is big, bigger, biggest, 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 like that. So this person uses the same cup as this person. So if for yourself you have been using cup 34, this person, you also use cup 34, despite being a bigger person. Meanwhile, this person who is a bit smaller will use a bust cup for what? This is five. So five, two, two sizes of, so five, five, if I use 34, 7, we use 36, 9, we use 38, so 9 to 10, we use 38, this guy will use cup, 38, in that same brand, though, in the same brand of cup, in that same brand, now if you are changing brand, you are using another, another brand, a different brand, there is MH, there is uh, um, the ST, a different brand. So if you use another brand, you must understand the sizing of that brand, how their sizing works. That's why if you are buying a dress in UK, you must understand how the size, how size chart works in dresses that are made in UK. If you are buying, buying dresses from Turkey, you must understand the size chart 
or how to achieve dresses work. So you're able to know which one will size you. It is not a one size fits all. A size 14 in UK is size 12 in US. I'm a wear medium in Turkey. Do you understand me? So on, you must have this knowledge, have this understanding first. And when you understand the brand and how they work, so this is how you determine your customer's cup. And again, this guy that has the same weight on that bust waist with me, 38. But the bust ratio, the bust width of that person is 42. As bust ratio 4. Interestingly, we use a lesser, a smaller cup from 34. Is there a size 33? Fine. Have you? So if that brand, if there's nothing like 33, you can juggle between 34 and 32 for the person. If you are buying a 34, you can use your scissors to trim, trim, trim a little to be able to suit her. Or use a 32. If you use a 32, you will have a little bit of cleavage. If it's okay for the person, you go with it. And if the person wants a full cover, then just use your 34 as it is. So that's how brush size works. Mean. So this bust ratios now, depending by cup bra, uh, sorry brand, cup brands. It's a brand. Four, size thirty four, cup. Size is bust ratio four. Now this bust ratio now, <coughs> choosing the cup size now does not concern the person's bust width anymore. It does not concern the person's under bust waist anymore. All you need to all you need to want to know the cup size to choose is their bust ratio, and you get it by minusing your under bust from your bust width. Once you have this bust ratio, if bust ratio four wears size cup thirty four in a any in a particular brand, like I compared US sizing with UK sizing and Europe sizing the other time, right? Mm -hmm. Different makers have their sizes, their size charts. So any brand of cup you are using, you must understand their sizing. Some don't even come in numbers, some come in alphabet. Large, L, X, S, XSL, M. Uh -huh. So understand what works. So in the ones that use alphabet, four, if if you are if your bust ratio is four and you are able to wear their M, their M or their large, their L. What that means is that everybody that has this bust ratio will we, we use COP34. And in the ones that use the alphabet, the brand that use alphabet, their COP L will size them. It does not matter how big the person appears or how small they appear, your bust ratio comes to play. So according to this grading now, 34. If 4 wears 34, 6 will wear 36, 8 will wear 38, 10 will wear 40, 12 will wear 42. Touches like that. Then after L, XL, XXL, XXXXL. If they don't like that, you construct the accord for them. Simple as A, B, C.